performance that I was going to do in Athens, which has now changed because I'm writing this book called Greek Mythologies for the 21st Century. Mm -hmm. And it's a bit like a Roland Barthes meets Deleuze. Mm -hmm. um, and that I'm travelling around as a nomad and I'm looking at different cultures and different societies and I'm asking questions of things that interest me that seem to be anomalous, that seem to be unusual, that um, I then do a little uh, analysis of that. And one of these things was why weren't there or aren't there any modern Greek visual arts masters? Why they are not? Well, why they are not in the 20th century? We, we, we masters in the meaning of well, uh, we Western masters. Well, like you, you, you know, Picasso, Miro, you know, French, Spain, England, Germany, uh, even uh, you know, Romania or different you know, countries. In as a, uh, you go to all the museums around the world, you'll see all of these so-called modern masters, but there's no Greeks. And I ask myself, why? Yeah, the, the, the answer is, uh, at the first place, is uh, pretty, pretty obvious. It's because Greece, uh, it's not a country, but uh, part of the Enlightenment, even the Renaissance. Yeah, so, uh, it's a country that never crossed these periods that gave birth First to the Renaissance uh, art, then to Baroque, uh, and the movements uh, that follow Baroque. Uh, I noticed the, the Delacroix. Yesterday I went to the Museum of Contemporary Art um, in Athens, which I didn't even know there was one, but apparently they're in the process of building one that will be opening next year, 2013, and meanwhile, it, the collection, the, so. yeah, the collection is housed yeah. somewhere where else. But I noticed that there was a Delacroix in there, which is the Greek sort of sort of romantic, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the Greek soldier fighting on a horse. So it looks very, um, yeah, it's, uh, a, it's a it's sort of a, 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 as a cross between that sort of Byzantine um, Muslim. It, you know, it's a sort of a, it's a mix of, of, it's, uh, of that tradition. It, it's of the, the Orientalism of the period. That's right. Oh, when the, the Parisian uh, art scene mm -hmm. uh, was uh, working on, uh, especially Delacroix. Mm -hmm. uh, don't forget his paintings about Morocco yeah, and, and Egypt. The lion, uh, the famous lion uh, hunting, oh, yes. and the rest. Uh, it was the Orientalism, and uh, uh, as Greece was uh, then at. Uh, uh, at uh, the center of the tension of Europe because of this national revolution and the withdrawal of the Ottomans from the, the Greek uh, uh, territory. Uh, Orientalism uh, was the other uh, thing applied uh, here as well. Yes, the other thing that struck me was that in that gallery um, is the contemporary section, yes. which goes from, say, the 1900 through to looks like something around the 1980s mm -hmm. um, and that collection is remarkable in the sense that it is completely unremarkable body of work. As you say, it's a copy of various masters from, you know, uh, you can see a little bit of Picasso, a little bit of Matisse, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's sort of, it's competent but there's nothing remarkable about any of the work. And from the... This copy is the remarkable thing. <laughs> yeah, and they get sort of progressively worse <laughs> as they come up to the present <coughs> in that sense. Um, it's a thing that we see in other countries, and you know, there was a degree of it in Australia, for example, um, as well. But there were some breakouts um, in Australia. And